So every what's the one album? Counts, every second what's one album there. you go back to just trying to make? You're not necessarily your own album. Did they teach you anything about making a I'm very proud of this. I have a cast of ours. So sorry. You're okay. And if I told you 10 years ago, you'd be directing Bruce and The Rock, how would you respond? I was probably so crazy at the time, I'd probably be like, yeah, of course I'm going to go shoot The Rock and Bruce Willis. Um, no, yeah, I did weddings and bar mitzvahs growing up. It was one of those things, just learning how to edit, learning how to use cameras. And um, when you take a bunch of boring things like cutting cakes and, I mean, I guess to some people that's not that boring, but <laughs> cutting cakes and getting married and you try to make it exciting and fun, it gives you an exercise to, to figure out what makes people excited in movies and stuff. Is it right there was a lot of ad libbing between DJ and The Rock and how much of that was Oh yeah. Him? Oh, there's a lot throughout the whole cast, you know, when you have a potent cast like ours where they can, they can whip things out in a second and are hilarious and funny and we have stuff in the scripts obviously, but, but they just pull it out and you just try to keep up with the camera. What was it like having Bruce Willis on set? Bruce Willis was uh, amazing. I mean, you have an icon like that. You have the legend, the icon with, with, with uh, The Rock as well. It was like a master class in action movies. You know, it's my first, so it's been fun to play with it. And, and as a director, you didn't do all CGI. Why did you do some stunts? I think it was important for us to feel the power of the punch. We wanted to feel the texture. We wanted to feel the scratches on the body armor. So we wanted to do everything as physical as possible. Not a lot of green screen. Build it. That was our sort of motto, so.